It is Friday, November 11th, 11, 11, 11. Veterans Day here in the United States, and first want to wish a, uh, my best to everybody out there whose lives have been touched by veterans, which has got to be just about everybody in the country. So, um, but it has been an interesting week around here because a habit I've gotten into is starting to do lessons on songs that people bring in over, like, my real students. Well, not that you guys aren't my real students, but, um, and a few of these happen that way. One of them was... We got into Working Class Hero, and this week there was a, uh, a review of Cosmic Mechanic playing that. So, uh, a few weeks ago we had this. Ryan Adams, that was a tune. And this week, what happened was Fred came in a few weeks ago, as you may have figured out, working on Ain't No Sunshine. So anyhow, we put out a couple different versions of that. One was Fred's Fly on the Wall working on it, revisited, that was the second one. One was um, the Campfire version. Just playing it very simply, really makes it a level one, maybe two song. And then the version of Bill doing it with his cool finger picking. So, and who knows? I might get around to the instrumental thing that I just kind of was messing around with there, but we'll see. That was enough Ain't No Sunshine for this week. So um, that was the big news at the beginning of the week in the, as part of the Target program. We had a little Ain't No Sunshine, a lot of Ain't No Sunshine scattered over Monday, Tuesday. And by Wednesday, we got into John Lennon. With some unusual chords. And yes, I'm building this as a John Lennon song, because what we did in the lesson was really looked at more the way he did it as the demos before the Threedles turned it into their uh, one of their comeback hits in 94 or 5, right around that time with the Anthology Project. So that was real love, and, and uh, we looked at the way... little kind of uh, classical piano thing done in a minor key and then looked at uh, how how the chords worked on the Beatles version with a little descending bass line. Anyway, so it was fun getting into the uh, the John Lennon side of the week. And um, what else? On there was Oh, there was another really cool fly on the wall lesson. I had to check this out because I remember um, I built it as Comfortably Numb with Kevin. Many of you know Kevin, but this lesson, this fly on the wall with Kevin, was more of a he walked in in a slump, saying, oh, I feel bad, I haven't practiced, I haven't had time to practice, and blah, 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 and I'm he was having trouble getting inspiration and motivation for it. So we talked about some of the ideas of things that can make that a little bit easier. So definitely encourage you to check that out. It's billed as Comfortably Numb with Kevin, but it's really more about the psychology of, of getting slipping and falling behind on your, in your guitar playing. So, and then at the end of the week, we went back, way back, and revisited Donovan. Now, I'm not going to play this for you right now, because if you haven't checked out the lesson yet, it is on Hurdy Gurdy Man, and it is on one hand a really simple song. So I had to do this one as a work it out lesson. So if you haven't looked at that, don't print out the music yet to Hurdy Gurdy Man. Uh, be sure to check the, watch the video first, and in segment one, see if you can figure out the whole song. But He's got some unusual things in there. So I'll play a different Donovan song. But you've heard me play this one before, I love it. Anyway, unusual set of chords in that one. Lelania, of course. So that was kind of the, the big news on the target front. But the really big news of this week is my buddy Jim Bruno and his site, Totally Vocals. Now Jim is, as I've gotten to know him over many, many years, uh, I've just been more and more floored with his level of expertise as a vocal teacher. 
and today we released a his his first fly on the wall video with me as the victim uh the patient the student the um anyway uh so we shot this a few weeks ago and it was it was really fun for me because as as many of you know i'm a much weaker singer than guitar player and even then flute player and piano player and everything else that i can't really play but um, it was uh, it was a lot of fun, and I learned a lot in this lesson. And it really kind of goes into all into Jim's uh, philosophy of getting somebody started with vocal lessons. So be sure to check that out. It's up now at Totally Vocals, and we have all kinds of specials now running at Totally Vocals. You should have gotten an email about it that uh, seven day free trial for anybody that comes through Totally Guitars. Maybe anybody that just shows up on the site. I'm pretty sure. It's open now for seven days to everybody as we're as because and I appreciate all our target members kind of contributing over the last uh, month or two with suggestions and and kind of beta testing it for us. So, um, but right now it is live for everybody and all, all kinds of special offers coming out there. We got the seven day free trial. There's a forum post at Totally Guitars about that how to how to cash in on it. And we have something really special coming for the Target members. Um, I can't tell you too much. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. But I will tell you that it. you might even think about joining the Target program just for the special that's coming up at Totally Vocals very soon. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe not till next week. We're kind of taking it a little easy over the weekend as it's starting to rain here in Northern California. Oh, well, it is November. Kind of appreciate it around then. So... Um, let me see, was there other stuff about, yeah, no, the forum post is where all that info is, and um, again, Jim is just, he's been a joy to work with and getting this whole thing rolling. He's got some great guest teachers um, that are working on different styles for him, and so we've, he's got a lot of great people are dropping by and doing lessons there, and so now a lot of those lessons are out, and we will start putting them out, a couple new ones every week, kind of like we do here at Totally Guitars, starting with today's fly on the wall of my first voice lesson. So I think, let me check my notes because I think that's everything I meant to talk about today. I'm kind of getting back to working on some fun stuff on the guitar, so I can't tell you too much about that, but I will. In one of my lessons the other day with a student, what was with that? We were talking about taking songs and changing them around and something that might sound like this, completely different character if we want it to sound like this. Anyway, that was a pretty fun song that uh, I learned many, many years ago. We'll, we'll let everybody play Name That Tune with that one and figure out what it is. I wish I'd written it, but it certainly inspired me to uh, start writing things and, and, uh, and come up with, with new ideas. first album of solo, of, of original pieces. That one was called On the Horizon. That was not, of course, On the Horizon. Many of you know On the Horizon. Wow, I should learn it. That's it. 
Okay, that is enough for this week. Thanks for uh, sticking around and checking the news, as always. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Next week, something really big coming at you. And I, I, can, give you a, I can give you a hint. Um, lead playing. Many people learn pentatonic scales. Many people learn major scales. And learn how to play leads using those. I was never very good at that. I ended up learning to play lead a whole different way. Kind of relying more around following chord progressions. looking for ways to find notes on the neck that are part of the chord that is being played. And that way, if the progression does something unusual, you can still follow it and not even care about what key you're in. Okay, I've said too much, but keep an eye out for a project I've been working on for a while to tackle lead playing from a completely different angle than memorizing scales and everything else. So, coming your way next week, and that is it for today, November 11th. See you next week.